Oh shit. You're fired. Huh? You're fired. For what? Video. For what? The video with Vic and me. Uh. That's part of it. And what other part is? Your work. How the hell? What, what you mean my work? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It was more than one person video on that damn video. So if you gonna fire me, you're gonna have to fire that other person too. I only saw you. What you mean? How you gonna fire me for a motherfucking video? That's my fault. I can be on any damn thing I want, Trump. What are you talking about? Man, you is not finna fire me for that. We finna talk to David right now. Cause you can't fire me for no motherfucking video. For real, but that's bullshit. You get out your personal feelings. That's personal. That's your motherfucking feelings. I ain't got nothing to do with that. That was between you and Vic. What the hell y'all had going? I just video the shit. I ain't put it on the book. You was not been fired. You gotta have a, have a better reason than to fire me, bro. That's bullshit, bro. That's bullshit. Don't do me like that, dog. Straight up. Don't fucking do me like that. Straight up, bro. That's bullshit. How you gonna, what you gonna fire me for? And then you gonna sit there talking about damn work? Is, what are you talking about? You just, bro, the, the motherfucking big boss even said my, my job has gotten better. As I work, I gotten better. Yes, it has. So what the fuck are you talking about? It's still not up where it should be. I'm fired myself. What the fuck you expect? How the fuck you got one man full of five, six damn people and don't buy my motherfucking self and my work ain't been fucked up? You was not going to find me over here, bro. What the fuck? You was not going to find me for no motherfucking Facebook video that ain't got shit to do with this motherfucking job. I got to turn that care of, bro. You got me coming home with a motherfucking $250 check. What the fuck is that? Is you mad because I'm like my motherfucker? I was down. No. So what the fuck is the problem? You is not going to find me over this dog. I swear to fucking God. If you find me, we're going to court and, and, and David's going to be mad because I'm going to court for this bullshit. I'm busting my ass at this fucking job. You see what uh, you see what time I got this morning? I'm like, yeah, you got, you got motherfuckers quitting because you fucking exist them. But you want to find me over a motherfucking video? Man, let me get my paperwork, bro. I'm going to work, bro. You just not been fired, me, bro. Fire. Yo, no, what? Fuck you, proper. What you mean, yo? This ain't no goddamn problem. We call David right now. Call motherfucking David right now, bro. Because you got bullshit going on. You going to find me on motherfucking video? You ain't no motherfucking fitness? It's you and your fitness? Get off the property. It's you and your motherfucking... I ain't going no motherfucking way. Call David. I call the motherfucker. Fuck you talking about? I thought you gonna fire me on some bullshit. I did you fuck all you fucking ass about the motherfucking money else. You have motherfuckers quick. How the fuck you gonna goddamn work? We got there two or three motherfuckers people on the job. Hi, can I get an officer over here? I've got this from Hey, fuck that goddamn phone, man. Put that in it. What's good, YouTube? You already know who it is. It's Laquana, and I'm back again with another reaction video. And this reaction video is about the same one as yesterday, but the same boss man was pretty much arguing at his other worker because he was upset that he, whoever was filming he put it out on whoever was filming obviously he said that he only seen two people but obviously i only seen one people recording and he ended up firing the dude for no reason because he was just recording and as y'all can see in this video something about um you fire me because I recorded a video. I mean, pretty much everybody can film whatever the heck they want to film. And I don't even see what's the big deal of him filming something that was interesting. So, obviously, he got upset and said that he wanted to fire him. And I don't know if he got fired. As y'all could see, that he had hit the phone after when the dude had was calling the police like he was supposed to call his boss man but instead he tried to call the police and want to be a big behind snitch like he looked like he is but it's like if you don't know how to work and communicate with people you shouldn't be working at that job sweetheart like it's common courtesy of learning how to respect your co-workers and your employees like if i be able to become a boss woman or something like that i would never treat my employees like that like no like people if y'all are in on me especially my family and my friends y'all know how i am and i'm very picky about hurting people's feelings i don't like to hurt people's feelings because i don't like my feelings being hurt and i really do care about people who have sympathy for people but to tell you the truth he looked like he don't have sympathy for nobody so he want to get mad at him and say that he want to fire him and which that doesn't make any sense because it's like, oh, I just want to fire you because you are recording me and you're not pretty much doing good 
at your job. You know, get it? So, I'm like, is he really, really serious right now? Like, you got to be out your mind. I was in this simple, whatever, what you want to call it, o and -L, something like that, whatever kind of job it was, it really wasn't serious. Because, like, for one, you wasn't paying me really enough money. And then, like, my boss, man, he overheard me talking to somebody else, which he didn't really have no business of overhearing me talking about somebody or something like that like he really just got mad like the only thing i said that hurt his so-called feelings saying um the question was do you like this warehouse or the other warehouse i said the other warehouse the other warehouse of where i was working at they had stability like you work every day like some jobs that you work at they make you come to work but then send you right back home or something like that like why would i want to be working at a job like that like really when i could just find a steady job and a good paying job really the pan wasn't all right but obviously he overheard me talking to somebody saying that you really like the other job better than this one i said yeah work every day like you don't have to miss no days you don't have to miss no money because like it really didn't matter to me and i was happy and then he wanted to wait so he leave the warehouse he wanted to wait to the whole entire day like around lunchtime and wanted to talk to my recruiter and my recruiter took it out on me and i ended up cussing his behind out Jacoby, yes, I ended up cussing him out. Then he want to lie and say that I tried to threaten him. Hm. I'm like, I ain't threatening your little punk behind yet. I ain't even did nothing to you. Like, you, like, he wasn't making sense when we made it back to the recruiting office. He was like, so why did y'all leave y'all job, left y'all job because y'all had a flat tire? I'm like, duh, like, what you expect? Like, I need to get this truck home before something else happened to it. And then he was like, one of y'all could have changed the tire. Okay, you come out here and check out these tires. These are 24-inch rims on these tires. How about you come out here and help us? While we was trying to change the tire, he was rushing us. Y'all ain't finished with that tire yet? How about you come out here and do it? How about you come out here and help us do this tire since you're so worried about us not being at the job? Like, I don't get people, especially who work at... Um, I don't know if y'all heard of this place called, um, at work personnel, like, you don't want to deal with the people, because it's like, for when, like, especially if you only have one car, and you are dependent on that car, why all of a sudden you want to catch hell about it? Like, of course you want us to come to work, right? Let us fix this car. But no, he kept complaining, so my adrenaline was pumping. Like, ooh, I was about to get ready to, I wanted to fight him in that um office. And it would have been even better if it was a lot of more people. And, I, and it was a lot of more people, but really, he got disrespectful, and I got disrespectful right back at him. And I don't like dealing with work officers and stuff like that. I don't like dealing with people like that because they don't know how to talk to you. They don't know how to respect people, especially Jacoby. I'm like, out of all these people, you scared of me, and I'm five foot one. I'm five foot one. You scared of me? Like, you telling people, talking about, she threatened me. I ain't threatening you yet. It, I ain't, I was far from, from threatening him. I was far. But I did make some points. Very disrespectful. I'm not finna be disrespected by somebody who is, don't even pay me enough that I was supposed to be working. So, obviously, like, if I go back to that warehouse or back to the at work personnel, I think what he, I think he will get offended of seeing me. Because I think I'm going to just go up there just the heck of it, just to bother him to see if he still up there. I, I just hate that the fact that he is working there. And disrespecting everybody. Like, he disrespects everybody. And I hope he see this video. I hope. Go live in a dumpster. Like, go back to where you came from. Like, it changed. At work personnel, they had not changed ever since he came in the office. Like, you was working at California Cartage, and all of a sudden, you working in the office because they treated you so badly at California Cartage. I'm like, for one, he was out. Like, I heard so many things about him. He was having sex with the black ladies in the warehouse. Like, he was showing his diggling to everybody like i heard that like angle team a lot i heard that and that and i'm like for when he was doing nasty stuff i'm so glad they got rid of him but i would never work at california cottage no never but back to what we was talking about about the old dude like i'm surprised he got at his boss man like that like that's how i was with jacoby but i have to have more 
morals because i'm a female and i do not like to be disrespectful but it comes to the point oh yeah you getting disrespected it don't it don't matter who it is you could be my mother my father my auntie my uncles like it don't matter like once you disrespect me it's over with i would flip ties with you i would end the relationship whatever what we got going on oh it's over with and it's like some people in my family i really don't care for so it is what it is just like i was saying like being disrespectful that's out like how in the world you supposed to expect for people to work for you and you disrespectful i don't get it like if y'all get me please like this video if y'all get me like i ain't gonna say no lies but at the end i don't know if you can hear his voice what he was saying he was like how in the world you gonna fire me when i'm the only one working by myself and you have other people like about five other people on a project yeah, I would be offended too. I really would. Like, you got me working out here like a slave. And then you got five people on some on the project. It don't make sense. It really don't make sense. Y'all could see what was the outcome with that. So, it was, he called the police. He was acting scared. <laughs> they should shut that building down. They wasn't really paying people enough. And I would quit. If I had a chance, I will find a better job than to deal with, deal with nobody. So it is what it is. If you're new, please like this video, share, and subscribe. Um, turn on that post notification bell button so you'll be notified every time I make a post, share a post, and upload a post. And what else? It is Vlogmas Day 17. Obviously, I was supposed to upload this video earlier, but ended up taking a nap like always because my little one was sleepy and I woke up around like 9 o'clock and went back to sleep. And in the meantime, I will see you next time.